it's Doc H. Dave here. I'm gonna, it's a video on uh, some picking I did at a flea market and some, some bag hunting. And I got one that my son Cameron got me. It's a 55 Nomad named Malaysia. He found this in an antique shop uh, on Ocracoke Island in Outer Banks, North Carolina. Ain't that pretty. I think it's about 25 years old. It says 69 on the bottom, but the, the wheels don't match. Nope, and unless somebody done a wheel swap, here's go. It's got some nicks in it. This goes into my unobtainium, made of unobtainium collection. It's something that, a gift, I never get rid of it, ever. It's really, really nice, like you can't help red paint, y'all know me. It was corroded pretty bad on the bottom, I guess, from the salt air, you know, out there, the ocean. Thanks, Cam and Pops loves you. I really like that. Here's one I just saw in the bin of death. I don't even think these are out in the, the sets yet. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon collection, the Michelangelo Midnight Auto. I bought it because it looks like about a 1930s Ford or Chevy tea bucket. Pretty cool, ain't it? They knocked that one out of the park too. I like those green wheels. Great paint job. I mean, really great tampos on it. Chrome base. Headers sticking out. Louvers even got louvers on the hood, son. <clears throat> and here's something I picked up. Walmart, I had to have it. 70 Chevelle SS Jada Big Tongue Muscle. I like these Jadas. Their attention to detail is impeccable. And they're not expensive either. It's got the flat black hood, the hood pins, black interior. St. Nick Xmas Racing Club, Mallory and Hearst tampos on it. Big chrome wheels. It looks like real rubber tires on it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Candy apple red. I love it. Might paint my old pickup truck that I call Betty. My 91 Chevy. My paint her candy apple red with a think about it like a candy pearl stripe on the side to replace the gray. Don't y'all like it? It's beautiful. And next I got this Spider-Man Max Venom tail dragger. I might put a little video of a tail dragger that I saw at the Bristol Motor Speedway Thunder Valley a couple years ago. I'll show you what tail draggers do. It's in a flat, matte, black finish. It's nice too, I just don't collect any, you know, superhero stuff or anything like that. But I dig it, I dig it. And I got this one to go with my red and my black one. 67 Ford GT40 MK4, IV if you will. I like it when the base matches the body color. Now I see some people coming. I had to go here a minute. Got to pick the messes up from work. I had a day off. Now this one right here is beat off pieces. It was just having me hanging on a peg. And a Dollar General I don't to go to. But it's the chase car of the 52nd anniversary Hot Wheels. The Gazelle, Gazella GT. That car is roached, man, but it don't matter. I think it completes my set. They claim this one's a little bit hard to find. I believe they dropped it behind the shelf. Found it. I don't know how to set my luck up on it. All wheels are dry around here again, as usual. Got our head. I found this one. It's an error. The Toyota A86 Sprinter Trano from the Hot Wheels Drift Collection. It's missing a, the tampo on its front passenger side fender. I'm giving this to my son Cameron for his collection. He likes the risers. See right there? That's the first error I ever found. <clears throat> now check this out. This is from my flea market picking. It's a Hot Rod Magazine. Uh, 56 Chevy Nomad. It's red and white. Hood opens. It's even got a blue engine. The chrome carb on it. 
That looks like a supercharger, maybe. Can't tell real rider tires. It's a beautiful casting view. Racing chambers is in Oxella Park too. I really like the casting. Not really expensive either. And the last one, I got this one. It's a Johnny Lightning. I can't tell. If that's a 10 years limited anniversary edition. Yep. It's got the coin with it or whatever you want to call it from playing Manus. It's the Lincoln Futura. I'm pretty sure this is the one that George Barris made the first Batmobile after. And I had to have one. Hard to find around here. Now if you look at the body lines and look at the front you can tell it would become the Batmobile. I mean, the Batman was a prototype. He bought it for a dollar. But ain't that a nice casting? Nice car. Beautiful red color. That double bubble. I heard you look at me in the coin, man. That makes it worth what I gave for it. <laughs> well, that's all for now. I guess Dave, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Catch you on the flip side.